we're going to be using Fairfield World's batting to make this project. So, you know, this is normally something you wouldn't see, but it's so soft and felt like that it's perfect for making a stuffy. So I started out by dyeing it. I dyed the fabric in hot water. I found that it helps to add salt to the hot water to get a, a more vibrant color. So once I had dyed it and dried it, and you can see one side took the color better than the other, so we're going to be using the brighter side. I used some dyes to cut out squares and hearts for my robot plushie. We're going to need six squares for the body. These are four inch squares. For the head, we've got six two inch squares. For the feet, six one and a half inch squares. So I've got 12 all together to make two feet. For the hands, we're using hearts. So we just need four hearts all together, two for one hand, two for the other. With the undyed batting, I cut one tiny little heart to decorate with, and then I cut multiple 16 inch strips that are about a quarter inch wide. And these, once we sew them up, are going to make the arms and the legs for the robot. The first thing I wanna do before I start sewing the body together is to stitch the heart onto what will be the front of the robot. So I've got some gold embroidery floss and I'm just going to stitch this using a very basic stitch. So when we're done, our heart will be stitched on and now we can start by building the body. Let's start building the robot's body. I'm going to start with this front piece that we have and then I'm going to add a piece to the side. I am putting them with the right side facing out because we're going to do what's called a blanket stitch. I've got my white embroidery floss on my needle. So to get started, I have knotted my needle. I'm going to bring it up from the back. Then I'm going to go back through that same spot and this is just to anchor it. And before that closes, I want to pass my needle through the circle. That's what you're going to be doing over and over. It kind of anchors your thread. Okay, so now we're ready to start. I'm going to go down through the front. Pull my needle. And before I close my loop, go through it. Okay, so see it's holding the string there. And now I'll do it again. And this time I've already just passed it through the loop to save myself a step there. Okay. I'm going to keep doing that until I finish up this edge. I stitched up one side and now I'm going to go with the piece that's going to go on top here. I'm going to pin that in place so it doesn't slide around and then I'm going to blanket stitch around this side. up the block for the body. It's got all six sides there as you can see. I've blanket stitched all the edges and one side is still open and that's so I can stuff my polyfill inside and then I will close that up. I'm not going to start stuffing this yet because I still need to make the cubes for the head and the feet and I still need to make the hands. So I'm gonna to get to work finishing these and then we'll start stuffing them and putting them together. 
right, so we've got the body, the head, and I had sewn two buttons onto this panel before I stitched everything together, and the feet, and the little heart hands are done. Now none of this has been filled. Each one of them has one side still open for the polyfill fiber fill. First, I wanna do the arms and the legs and then we can stuff everything. All right, let me show you how I made this arm. Pinch the side together in the middle and then take your threaded needle Go through it. Okay, and that's just gonna kind of anchor it onto the body. Now, take one of the strips of batting that you cut and we're just gonna fold it back and forth in a zigzag so you can make it as wide or as thin as you want. You can use pins to hold it, or you can just put it right on your needle there. Now we're going to take the heart, the little heart hands. See, I want the hand to go down like that. So the two hands are done. I'm going to do the same thing for the legs. However, instead of just one strip, I'll be using two strips because obviously the legs need to be longer than the arms. Woohoo! We are so close to being done. The robot plushie has been assembled. Now it just needs some fluff added. So I'm going to use this polyfill fiber fill and start filling him up. Once it's fluffed, I'm going to pin this open edge and then I can stitch it closed and then start on the head and the feet. <laughs> 